Taige, His Majesty's new Japanese submarine. Japan is an island nation. Therefore, having a strong naval force is a prerequisite for ensuring the country's security, especially since on the nearest coast in relative proximity are not the friendliest neighbors, North Korea, Russia, and nowadays the strong navy implies the presence of a powerful component, the submarine fleet. The country's elite understands this perfectly well and is trying to ensure that the Japanese submarine fleet will be able to perform the necessary tasks to protect the state. On March 9, 2022, a new submarine, Taige, of Project 29SS was accepted into the Navy. This is a diesel-electric submarine of a new type, the first in its series. In this video, we'll tell you more about it and try to predict the further development of the Japanese submarine force. The Japanese Navy does not possess nuclear-powered submarines, but it does have, together with the Taige, 22 multi-purpose non-nuclear submarines that meet the requirements of their time. These are the Oyashio and Soryu submarines. The oldest of them all, that lead ship Oyashio with board number SS-590, was commissioned into the fleet on March 16, 1998. Would you say it's old already? But against the background of some Russian and American submarines relatively recent. For example, the American nuclear-powered strategist USS Ohio, born number SSGN-726, was commissioned in 1981, and it's currently on active service. In general, according to experts, Japanese submarines are among the most technologically advanced and dangerous to the enemy. But as you can see, the Japanese are not going to stop there and further improve their underwater forces. What is the submarine Taige, which became the founder of the new series? It's the lead ship of the new Project 29SS, which will replace the outdated submarines in the future. The new project combines modern systems with ideas that were previously considered obsolete. Agree, it sounds somewhat intriguing. What ideas have the Japanese returned to that were previously considered obsolete? We're talking about the most important node for any ship, the engine. In the previous project, which is epitomized by the boats Soryu, by the way, from Japanese it means Blue Dragon, used an anaerobic, that is, an air-dependent Stirling engine. Let me remind you that the Stirling engine is an external combustion engine. It differs from the internal combustion engine in that the working body, which is in the cylinder, is not fuel, but it receives heat from outside under the action of which it expands and pushes the cylinder piston. It's not necessary to use oxygen to obtain external heat. Other chemical reactions without the presence of oxygen can be used. The anaerobic Stirling engine gives more freedom of action to the submarine than the diesel-electric scheme, but such an engine has one major disadvantage. It makes more noise. And low noise is a prerequisite for modern submarines, just like low noise is a prerequisite for fifth-generation fighters. Therefore, the Japanese have returned to the diesel-electric scheme, which in the surface position of the submarine stroke provides diesel engine and in the underwater position works electric motor from batteries. But unlike the earlier projects of diesel-electric submarines on Taige are used lithium-ion batteries in which all parameters superior to traditional lead-acid batteries. But the chosen batteries are not without disadvantages. First of all, it's high cost. In addition, during charging and discharging batteries emit heat, and in case of violation of operating modes can emit toxic vapors or ignite. All this places special demands on the equipment of battery pits in which the survivability and stability of the ship and the lives of its crew depend. Before designing the Project 29SS Taige, the Japanese laid down two non-nuclear submarines of the Soryu type in 2015 and 2017 with a reconfigured propulsion system, i.e. without a Stirling engine and with lithium-ion batteries. The result of sea trials confirmed the correctness of the applied solutions. The new Taige submarine is similar to the two previous diesel-electric submarines of the Soryu type in its external shape and layout, but has a larger displacement. The new boat is 84 meters long and 9.1 meters wide. Surface displacement is 3,000 tons. Underwater displacement should exceed 4.2 to 4.3 thousand tons. A streamlined hull is used, slightly differing from the Soryu. On top of it, there's a modified deckhouse fence with horizontal rudders. The stern planes are made according to the X-shaped scheme. One propeller is used as a propulsion system. It's noteworthy that when the concept of boats of Taige series was still under consideration, they talked about water jet propulsion as more silent than a propeller. 
but as we can see, classical solutions were preferred. New radio electronic means of reconnaissance and communication were developed for the 29SS project. A new generation hydroacoustic station based on fiber optic arrays has also been created. This equipment will improve the ability to detect and track underwater targets. A new combat information and control system has been created on the basis of existing developments and components. For additional noise reduction, in addition to abandoning the Stirling engine, a new sound-absorbing coating and materials capable of significantly reducing the submarine's visibility have been used. The armament of the new submarine consists of four bow torpedo tubes of 533mm caliber, the submarine will be able to use the torpedoes in service, including the latest models. The torpedo tubes will also be used to launch American Harpoon anti-ship cruise missiles with a range of 140 miles. There's also a torpedo countermeasure system that throws out decoys to evade enemy strikes. The ship's crew consists of 70 people. Comfortable living and service conditions are provided on board. A high degree of automation will reduce the workload. It's especially noted that the special needs of female submariners were taken into account during the construction of the submarine. Such a feature of Project 29SS is important in the view of the fact that this year the Submarine Force Academy received female cadets for the first time. The first submarine of Project 29SS Taige was laid down in March 2018. It was launched on October 14, 2020. As we've already said, she was accepted for service on March 9, 2022. As we can see, the Japanese built a submarine of the new project in four years, quite a tight time frame. For example, the last non-nuclear submarine, Scorpene, was built by the French for India for more than eight years. It was laid down in December 2012 and delivered to the Indians in February 2021. And Scorpion is much smaller than Taige, 2,000 tons of submarine displacement against 4,200 tons. The new Japanese boat is characterized by a fairly high cost. Its construction cost about $710 million US dollars. For comparison, the serial submarine Soryu costs less than $490 million, and their diesel electric modification costs $608 million. The installation of expensive lithium ion batteries and new electronics had an impact. In January 2019, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries laid down the second submarine, Hakuge, at its Mitsubishi Heavy Industries plant and launched it in October 2021. It's scheduled to be delivered to the Navy in 2023. The third submarine of this type, Jinge, Fast Whale, was laid down in April 2020 and launched in October 2022. It's scheduled to be handed over to the Japanese Navy in March 2024. As you can see, the Japanese are clearly and measuredly equipping new submarines at intervals of four years. The construction schedule of the next four ships is still unknown. It can be assumed that shipbuilders and the military plan to reach a high rate of construction with the annual delivery of finished ships. In that case, the seventh planned submarine will begin service in 2027. We've repeatedly pointed out in our videos that the world's leading powers are now actively developing next-generation weapons with a deployment date of 2030 to 2035. This applies to the new American aircraft carriers of the General Ford class, the sixth-generation fighter programs, and much more. As you can see, Japan's no exception is confirmed by the construction of the Taige series boats. The construction of Project 29SS submarines and the plans of Japan's Naval Command are quite interesting especially against the backdrop of current plans of foreign countries. It's believed that the diesel-electric scheme is outdated and the non-nuclear submarine fleet needs fundamentally new systems. Developing these ideas, Japan was among the first countries to master and put into practice air-independent power plant technology. Further, non-nuclear submarines with air-independent installations were built in France, Sweden, Germany, and China. Now Japan's the first to abandon them. Therefore, it cannot be ruled out that Japanese works will influence the world of submarine shipbuilding, and then other countries will also return to diesel-electric power units. At the end of our video, we'll tell you about the latest interesting facts related to Taige, what this word actually means. In Japanese, Taige is a big whale. In general, the entire series of submarines of this project, and there will be seven submarines, will be named in honor of large fish. The second boat, Hakuge, is the white whale, the third, Jenge, is the fast whale. The name of the 29SS project is not accidental either. The number 29 comes from the year of Emperor Akihito's reign, namely 2017, when the decision to build these submarines was made. And SS is the international abbreviation for non-nuclear multi-purpose submarines.
That's probably all for now. If you enjoyed the video about Japan's new submarines, give us a thumbs up. It'd be the best reward for us. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss new interesting videos about new weapons.